we've got a whole lot of great new features in Composer version 2 and I'd like to run through some of these with you in this brief presentation. In particular we've been focusing on some of the enterprise features uh, for Composer and we'll walk you through those. One of the enterprise features that we've introduced in Composer version 2 is a data dictionary. This allows you to define all the data elements that your organization collects across all of your forms across your entire organization and categorize and collate those and organize those. This in turn uh, allows you to define attributes about those various data items and what that means is that when you start building forms based on the data dictionary instead of having to define each attribute of the fields indiv individually such as the label, the caption or the tooltip, the list of allowed values etc. Um, you simply pick your values from the data dictionary. So I might look for all fields uh, that are related to uh, my customer. That'll come up with a number of customers and if I, for example, drag the customer state over onto my form and drop that in, you'll see that the label and also the drop-down list as well as the data values that are part of that drop-down list are all predefined for me in the data dictionary. This not only gives you a common vocabulary to describe all of the data and communicate this with the business, but it also allows you to drive consistency of the way in which you collect data across all of your forms and the integration with that data into back-end systems. One huge problem for a lot of organizations is that they have to maintain forms or produce forms in multiple languages and this results in them having to have multiple copies of those forms and have to having to maintain those forms separately for each different language. In Composer version 2 one of the enterprise features we've introduced is the ability to maintain a single form definition in multiple languages. So simply by switching the locale from the source language which in this case was English to one of the other languages I've translated it into such as French Voila, there's exactly the same form, the same business rules, layout, style sheets and everything else in French. Not only um, do we actually allow you to do this manually, but we allow you to view all of the different um, translated strings in the form in a single unified interface where the translators can actually uh, apply their knowledge of different languages to translate only those bits of the form that are, need to be translated. Um, but also we provide the capability to do a first pass um, of this translation process automatically for you. Um, and so this will actually um, um, go off and, and translate those fields for you automatically. Of course there are very often uh, tweaks that you would need to do in order to get the translation just right, but this provides an excellent starting point. We're very excited about the introduction of wizard style forms in Composer version 2. Wizard style form is a form where we only really show one page at a time to the users and that makes the data collection process much less daunting. Um, you build the forms in exactly the same way as you would a normal composer form, it just looks like another section. Um, and as you can see, um, this is the composer screen here. But when we actually render the form, I'd like to show you how that works. When the form renders, as you can see, it displays only one page at a time in Reader, but the form is does have multiple pages which are navigable through this menu. In addition, through the menu and through changing um, the answers to questions on the form, using simple business rules, I can hide and show different pages of the form. So depending on what answers I, I give, the length of the form can vary and so that gives the user a very uh, good user interface. Um, I can navigate through the, um, uh, through the form either by clicking on the menu options or by clicking on the next and previous buttons at the bottom of each page. I have various options as to how to do my validation, including validating each page before I proceed to the next one, or doing validation right at the end. As you'd expect with Composer, I can simply change the style sheet to display the same form with a different navigation model. In this time, the navigation is through uh, tabs at the top of the page. Uh, the form is identical, the function is identical, the business rules are identical, as is the hide show logic of the additional uh, fields, uh, the additional pages within the form.